So as I said, there's a theory of intelligence called the cattell horn carroll theory of intelligence. This is the best known compromise between the singular intelligence theory and the multiple intelligences theory. This theory focuses on the idea that intelligence comes in two distinct forms, fluid and crystallized intelligence. Now, if you remember from lesson five on development, fluid intelligence is the raw intelligence. This is the processing power and it's relatively free from culture and environmental influences. Crystallized intelligence, on the other hand, reflects what you learn from your environment and your experiences. Let's look at the cattell horn carroll theory as a hierarchy. It focuses on three broad levels. The first level is the general intelligence, or the G factor. The second level is the broad level of intelligence. These are your general abilities. This is where your crystallized intelligence and your fluid intelligence comes into play as well as things like your general memory or your processing speed. Now there's other abilities that go on this level, but these are the main four. And then finally, the last level is the narrow level. This consists of specific forms of cognitive abilities from each of the broader domains. For example, with crystallized intelligence, it would be things like reading, spelling, or language comprehension. And for fluid intelligence, it would be things like speed of reasoning or facial reasoning. The main idea here is that intelligence would be a hierarchy. We start with the general idea of intelligence, the G factor, where it's one intelligence. And then we go to a more broad level. This includes abilities such as crystallized and fluid intelligence, or memory and processing speed, among others. And then finally, from there, it narrows down into specific abilities for each one of these. 